Hello everybody. Welcome to our channel Docket Babies. I am Dr. Nupur Ghosh. So viewers, today I'm going to speak about a very important skill which we have to see that our child develops right from a very early age, be it 3, be it 4, any age. Here I'm talking about public speaking. Public speaking or you can just say for small kids, just speaking or expressing themselves in front of others. You know, this skill of speaking or expressing oneself in front of others is so very important uh, because it not only boosts the child's self-confidence, the self-esteem, but it also gives the power to the child to express his or her own thoughts in front of others. You know, many a times we have so many thoughts going in our mind or if somebody asks us something, we do have the answer to that. But we are a bit scared to speak in front of everyone. So if you see that your child is having a problem in expressing and if slowly we keep on practicing this, you will see in the long run, it's really going to help your child. So it's a very important skill to learn and master right from a very early age. So now I told you what is the importance of this. Now, um, it's our duty as parents that we encourage our child uh, in public speaking in various platforms. Now, how exactly we can do it? Uh, for Jashvi, uh, we have been lucky that she has been an outspoken girl. She always tries to express herself. She has a command over her language. So it's a bit easy for her to express herself. But then also we have always been trying right from my guess three years of age. We have always been trying that uh, Jashvi gets more and more ideas how to express herself, how to talk publicly. So here I'm just going to list you a few ideas how you can try at home to help your child uh, build this very critical skill. Number one, see uh, the kids, you know, they really enjoy games and also number one could be uh, by just, you know, giving them some cards. Uh, like, you know, what we do, uh, we have some, uh, I mean, we just take some small paper bits and we draw something on that, say maybe a house or maybe a cartoon character of favorite of her or anything. Then we ask her, can you say a few lines about this? Can we talk about this? So, you know, she generally tries that, okay, uh, if it's a house, okay, it's so I love my house, my, my house has got so many rooms, I really like to play in this room and so and so, so for uh, right from three years of age, she has been trying to, and slowly uh, we see that she has been trying to add on sentences on one particular topic. So what we do is uh, we keep on repeating uh, these things, like as example, I told the house, we. We gave her this house thing when she was three years old and we gave also gave her a house thing when she was three and a half and four. But we could, I could generally, you know, uh, demarcate that how she was developing on this. I could see that how well she was going. Initially, she could say three or four sentences. Then she could say five or six sentences. Then she could actually uh, say very elaborately about the house. So that was an example. So that is one thing. The second thing uh, which we practice is storytelling. Now, this is a very good idea for uh, encouraging the child to public speaking because, you know, we generally uh, do night storytelling to our kids or something. So what we practice here is one day me, Oblik Siddharth, we are telling a story to Jashvi. Next day, we ask her to tell the story to us. You know, uh, we are giving her the book and we say, okay, now today, mama and papa are really tired. So you got to tell us the story. So she tries to, uh, obviously, she cannot read the complete sentences right now. She's learning to read small uh, words, but uh, she just sees the pictures and she tries to speak about it. So that's how we do it. Then one more game which we play is giving random words to each other. You know, this we generally play in our pastimes. All three of us are sitting. Then we have to give each other one one word. So even Jashvi has a turn to give a word to either her mama or papa and then each of us try to speak about it. So in this activity, you know, uh, try that you speak some simple sentences. You don't uh, make it more complex because you are actually not playing that game. You are actually trying to make your child understand what you are speaking so that he or like she can speak the same like that. So, for example, you know, three of us are sitting, uh, I give a word to Siddharth, Siddharth gives a word to Jashvi and Jashvi gives a word to me. So this like these things can happen. But, you know, these things, they really make them interesting and they like speaking about it. 
now third place where uh, the kids actually speak and the schools encourage them is their school obviously nowadays because of covid it's been online school but then also i'm very happy with her uh, school she is in my new private school because you know every week they have to speak on some or the other topic every week and uh, so the teacher she gives a topic one day before and then they practice so whenever uh, the topic is given uh, and i make her prepare she, even jashvi is really excited about her and she's been doing good she's been speaking well in her class as well so that confidence also now obviously she's not in the class but then these 25 children are online seeing her she sees that they're hearing her seeing her that also builds a lot of confidence in her so i'll be uh, sharing this clip of hers uh, where she uh, actually had to speak on her one of her favorite animals and her favorite animal has always been a giraffe and second is a dog because we have a dog but since we cannot keep the giraffe at home but her favorite has always been a giraffe so she spoke on giraffe it was quite well uh, her teacher was really happy about it how she went about it i really want to share about that also one of the ways also can be you know uh, like i am doing a video so you can make your child sit in front of your mobile phone putting the video on and speaking like obviously we have a youtube channel even jashvi does some of the videos so she's confident in speaking here but you know what you can do is just switching on your uh, mobile camera and telling your child to speak something you'll see it's not that easy we, even if nobody sitting just near to you or you're alone it's not that easy so make your child do it you'll see the child will hesitate in uh, initially but then he or she will be confident now see for public speaking there are a whole lot of online platforms there are a whole lot of classes and so many and so so many things are there but i would say the most important place a child learns anything is at home it's easier for them it's easier for you and you can actually do the best to them so just start with these small things at home and right from a very early age say it two and a half or three years and you will see a marked difference in your child so uh, i'll be sharing a video of jashvi's uh, speaking abilities also uh, signing off now uh, take care i hope you are all set for diwali uh, wishing you all uh, happy diwali in advance have a safe diwali uh, take all the precautions for covid Stay safe, stay home. Good morning, everyone. My name is Ashi Sitar. Today, I'm going to talk about giraffes. They're the wild animals. And they found, they found the continent of Africa. They eat leaves and grass. Okay. Let's talk about the body of the giraffe. It has those two horns called ossicons. The tongue is very long, it's three colors, black, purple, brown. Mm. To protect from the sun. The body giraffe has got so many spots. And it, no two giraffes got the same patterns. Mm. The feet of the giraffes are very long. The baby giraffes. The baby giraffes are called cows. For a few weeks, they drink milk and then they saute the grass and leaves. It, uh, uh, giraffes, are, uh, they live in groups called tawa and they're very social animals. Giraffes eat a lot, but they drink very less water. The giraffe sleeps very less. They sleep 30 minutes in a day. And they can sleep also standing and sleeping. This is what I really wanted to speak about giraffe. I hope you like this video. Just keep smiling. Let me stand it.